Paulo Di Benedetto. Dave McGinn. Paulo Di Castro. And of course, as always, Dave McGinn. And we're out. Hiking down to uh, hopefully the intended camp spot. It'll be our third attempt to get down there before the big river trip this weekend. It's like four days away, five days away. Here we are. Back in the same spot that you saw me last week, picking up my ice right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the ice. It's actually a little thicker than last last week, man. And we're supposed to be getting in the warmer months. Yeah, this is the 2011 edition. It's come out just fresh this spring. One of the first arrivals from the Real Outdoors and Fashion lineup. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it's light, aerodynamic. It's got a little bounce to the pounce. So when it's not, it's a little Good piece of gear right here. I recommend you check it out this season. <laughs> yep, we got this. I didn't mark the tree actually. I'll do that right now. Hold on, Jay. I'm going to mark the tree. Here we are. We finally found Stony Point Road. Uh, the path that leads us to Stony Point. And now we, we have three guys. And uh, we're hiking our asses down there. And we're pretty excited actually. It's going to be a good day. Finally found it. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a straight path. You know, as you can see, you know, you got guys all the way down, all the way back. I'm the last one right now, and uh, we're just hiking along. My boy Dave just looked like he gave up on the barrel, but uh, we actually have a, a camping spot that we made over here somewhere actually. And um, <coughs> if I remember, it shouldn't be that far away. So let's see if we can find it. Good. Uh, we've been bushwhacking in the uh, Great Swamp Management Area. We tried to follow the Stony Fort Trail. And it got real swamped out, so we decided to bushwhack a little bit due west into the woods. And as I'm coming across, I find this uh, bird's nest here. And chances are it's an old bird's nest from last year. It's tied up right inside these of... Uh, not sure what kind of bushes. These are thick, thick bushes, but you can see there... That's moss. That's all moss right there. There's a hole where the bird would have burrowed in, right into the nest, right here. You want to open it? And he would have made an encavement, laid his eggs, spent the entire winter. And uh, this is not your typical tree nest. It's just, like I said, it's just tied right up into that shrubbery there. And birds might even return this year when they come back over the spring and might re-inhabit this same very nest. So I'm going to put it back up there, and at the same time we're going to take just a little bit of this for our kindling if we need a fire later. You never want to waste the opportunity to harvest some natural resources. But the nest I'm going to put right back here in the tree and see if there's a resident maybe next season. <laughs> yeah, when he walks through the same path that he's going on today. You know, Dave, he likes to stay on the same route. Fight me. Now you can see this here. You see the red pattern underneath his belly? Wow. Hold on, and I'm a lot of these in. different stripes here. Now he's trying to get up. He's not going to be able to pull himself right up to my right up to my hand. And I'm just going to keep wow. him a good distance away. That's probably a good two foot snake right there. Um, I'm not sure what kind. Say maybe a cotton mouth. What colors are they? Uh, he's got some red and brownish coloring here. Yep. A little bit of the darker, and I'm uh, I'm a little nervous. I won't lie to you. Awesome. I want to have him right under the head. <gasps> Woo! Right there. And, hold uh, on. and now he's perfectly safe right. to hold. Now we can get a nice good wow. look at this snake. Hold on. You can see he's secreting a little bit here like we've seen typically yep. with the snakes when they yep. do get handled. Yep. Secreting some of that scent on me that I want to let him go. Yep. Um, hold his head good. I've got his head good. He's All not right. going anywhere. All right. And uh, he's obviously very tense right now. He's, he's, look at he's his color. not happy about this. Yeah, really stinks too. I don't know yeah. too much about the, all the snakes in the area. This is not your common garter snake. No, not at He'd all. be black with a yellow stripe on the tail. Um, I, I know that we don't tip, we don't have the, the true authentic water moccasins here in Rhode Island, but what we call water moccasins, um, th this is probably the closest to that. I'd have to check the reference book when I get back and fill you in later. But that's a beautiful catch, beautiful snake. Not enough to feed the four of us, and we're going to let him go. I'm going to put him back in over here into his natural habitat. Okay, put him over. Did 
Actually, he's actually pretty calm now. He knows we don't mean him no harm. Okay. Come on. There he goes. That's a good sized snake. He'll grow another few feet, maybe. And he can swim. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, there he goes, there you go. <laughs> you got that on film? That's cool. Yeah. Good job. Hey, you're a ballsy motherfucker, man. I'm tight. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Got him right over there. Look at him. He blends in. Yeah, he does. It's cool. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, what is that? 1990. Yeah, the tree. The tree you're talking about? No. You know the name? I know, there's yeah. so many of them. <laughs> it's, uh, everybody yeah. makes a cancer, makes a tree. What's our son, Josh? Yeah, we have our own. I just put CRO in one back there. I lost my name. I lost my knife. Go on. Yeah, I lost my knife. I cleaned up the site. Huh? Yeah, we found a trusty uh, toilet. So uh, that's. Innovation at the best, right there. Even had a little toilet roll. Oh. Who's that favorite? Let's bushwhacker next time. <laughs> <laughs> What's your wise words for the day? <laughs> Stay determined. You, you, you can always stick to it and always overcome no matter what. And God blessed us to bring us out here today and get us to where we're going to be and to get us from. You know, I got one. I said this one before skydiving, but you are what you embrace in life. I think we just embrace nature. What do you think, Joe? <laughs> Uh, we arrived at Stony Point. Now Dave is digging a hole uh, for the bucket that we're gonna put in the ground, and we're gonna bury it in because we're not gonna carry it out. And these are for, this is for the guys when we uh, come next week. So this is Dave over there videotaping. You know that. Joe's digging the hole right now. We're all taking turns. Gonna get this hole down. We're gonna go half the way or three quarters of the way, and uh, see how it goes. But uh, yeah, we're at Stony Point. Nice soil. It's like mossy on top. Yeah. Oh, that's like you can see uh, Paulo and Dave. Joe, so I, or Paulo and Dave did a lot of the work. Dug the hole here. We've sunk the bucket right in. We've got our catching supplies deep inside there. Some tent rods. Uh, emergency fishing rod. Yep, look at that. I just called back. We're gonna get all that on the mm -hmm. camera, all that feedback. <laughs> we uh, got a couple of propanes, some sterno fuel, lots of rope, a couple of rolls of toilet paper, um, some basic necessities. We've got a few cedar strips, well, pine strips actually, but a couple of shims. Here we can break those apart. Make really good tinder or kindling with those. Um, no, it's more like a No, no, they won't fit in the bucket. Okay, so basic no, no, nylon no. tarp cover, rain fly. So you can always throw that over you. Uh, make shift a uh, lean to something like that. Some more rope. Uh, Folding cool. stove for the sterno kits. Um, you can even take that inside your tent, heat it up, warm it up a little bit if you were cold. So, I mean, we've got basically all the things you needed for a quick, quick night of survival out here. Um, just to do, and we've got this log here, we're going to cover it up, put a lot of leaves around, cover up all this fresh dirt that we've dug out, and hopefully when you, when we're all done, you won't be able to tell that anything's been disturbed on this ground at all, and uh, it'll be here next time when we come in, ready to use. Got a bubble jacket here, all kinds of canned goods, some corned beef hash, pasta sauce, some tuna, um, dried rice and things, double wrapped, double bagged. These things should stay f perfectly dry and ready to, ready and prepared for us anytime we come out here to Stony, Fo Stony Point. 
in Great Swamp Management Area. TRO, fuck it. <laughs> and be happy if you ever find the bucket, you can use the items in it, but replace them, please. There you go. Let's sit on my fucking <laughs> 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 uh, We got now a film. We <laughs> got Ezra. Yeah, too. <laughs> oh, oh man. Me that's that's <laughs> going on YouTube right there. Oh, <laughs> Dude, we got that was the real yep. outdoorsman. Right there. <laughs> oh, great. That is the real outdoorsman. The other hand. That is the one. Right, you get head screwed. I buried it. Why? You don't want it out? Yeah, I do, but I'm going to try to cover close. Alright. Let me okay. Here we are, we're burying it actually. To make sure nobody finds it. Hopefully we can find it later on. <laughs> but we marked the tree, if you notice. The red little tag. And then... Here we are. We got Dave and Dave burying it. With McMahon again, you always will win. <laughs> McGinn and McMahon, attorneys at law. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, and that's perfect. And you see a little fucking gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yep. gotta throw a little more on it. Get more leaves. You need more leaves. You need more leaves around. Oh, yeah. No, don't get it next to it. Cause then we're just digging that up. Yeah, true. Go so far away. Go like that from far away. Look. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta spread it out everywhere. Uh, here we are, we're finishing up our day. The sun's about to set in the west. Me and Joe walking up here together. These guys left us. <laughs> Dumb and dumber. <laughs> they're trying to do a shot. Let's be video boy. Let's turn around. Dumb one, dumb two. <laughs> we made it, guys. There you go. Right up past the camera. One, two, three, four would be great. Thank you, Dad. Pass the camera.